Hi, it's Alex from laughingplace.com. I'm here with Kim Hazel and Rhiannon Delanoy, directors of uh, two of the upcoming short circuit films from Walt Disney Animation Studios coming to Disney Plus Wednesday, August 4th. Uh, Kim directed Dinosaur Barbarian. Rhiannon directed Songs to Sing in the Dark. Hi, very nice to meet you both. Hi, nice to meet you, Alex. I was curious to know uh, what was the most important thing that you learned during this process? It can be um, something that you learned about yourself or a skill that you acquired by sitting in the director's chair that you didn't already have. I think for uh, me, it was just the importance of being calm and being present and, and really being there for the artists. Um, I, I, I think it's so important to play a support role to um, these amazing artists and, and try and do everything you can for them to do the best work that they can do. Yeah, I think for me, it's, it's a little similar, but that you don't have to have all the answers. When you're working with a, a team as talented as all the um, folks at Disney Animation, you can sort of lean on other people and their knowledge and their expertise to, to help you out. You don't have to uh, come up with everything all on your own. And uh, a question specifically for Kim, um, I was really impressed that Dinosaur Barbarian is hand-drawn and uh, you really recreated almost the celluloid look with the coloring. I was curious to know um, what, what was the technical uh, process like to kind of bring that 1980s hand-drawn and then animated on cell look to the year short. Dinosaur Barbarian is actually a mix of actually hand-drawn on paper 2D animation and digitally done 2D animation in the computer. And so that celluloid look um, was easy to accomplish with both. Um, it's, it's a digital effect that we did, but I think it's really successful. Um, it was really important for me to have something that reflected both uh, 2D cartoons from the 80s, but also my favorite era of Disney uh, films, which is the Xerox era, like 101 Dalmatians and the Jungle Book. And I really wanted those two things together to be the final look. For Rhiannon, um, the texture of the light around your characters, the characters are obviously CG, um, but the texture of the lights have almost like a hand painted quality or um, even chalk. There's kind of a, a nice texture to those. What was the discovery process like for um, what the light around each character would look like? Because that's such a big part of your short. I, I was really inspired by like images of sonographs, the, the sort of the grain. Um, the, it's actually like a, like a lack of resolution, basically, in, in a sound image like that. So I wanted to kind of transmit that into the short and also helps marry the 3D and the 2D. So the 3D has post-processing on it to make it a little grainy, but then the drawing itself is rendered with kind of a, a chalky sort of line, exactly what you said. Um, also the drawing itself is, uh, is turned into a light emissive object. So it actually lights the, the 3D environment as well. So there were a lot of things we, we tried to like try and get them to look married in the same space, even though they're different mediums. Um, hopefully it's successful. I loved um, everything about the, uh, the storyline of, of the, the Dinosaur Barbarian. But I was curious if Disney Plus came to you and said, uh, we want to go forward and that's just the opening credits and we want the series. Um, are you ready for that? Uh, would, would that be a possibility? I am open to anything the universe wants to present. <laughs> For Rhiannon, um, I was curious to know the uh, elements of the of the short kind of inspired me or reminded me of playing a video game. It kind of felt like you would like choose your fighter and your power up, and then they go they go to battle. And even the ending felt like uh, hitting the final boss. Are you a big gamer? Were there were there certain games that that inspired those elements? I know I know you were mostly um, inspired by the scientific um, processes of sound and echolocation, but uh, that's what I was I was reminded of. So I, I was trying to think of like, what's a plot that's simple enough to be in 90 seconds? And, and also what would kind of be conducive to something percussive and visually interesting. And if you have kind of a, a, if you have to sort of simplify an idea down to like its core essence, um, I, since I'm always really interested in how animals are interacting in an environment and sort of like a, a a predator prey or a or a are you a friend are you are you gonna hurt me or help me and I, I just wanted to sort of play with that relationship in in sort of the most simplified level so it would just be like two creatures together in a space and maybe a few others kind of sprinkling in throughout well thank you both so much for your time I really appreciate it congratulations again both shorts are fantastic everyone can check them out starting Wednesday August 4th on Disney plus thank you Alex thank you thank you